There are few places in the world like this and, thanks to the determined preservation of its heritage and history, there are certainly no other racetracks like it. Running from coast to coast, up hills and through valleys, along the streets and between the houses, this breathtaking road course is the ultimate challenge for riders who come back year after year to experience the flat-out thrill of sustained high-speed racing, which can only happen here on the Isle of Man. On the longest racetrack in the world, course knowledge is everything, and David Jeffries knows his way around. Here we go now, off, the, off down the Glen Country Road. The steps out of the way, a bit of a wheelie there. Just uh, getting yourself all settled in. Just through the top of Bray Hill now, through the St. Uh, Ninians. A little bit, uh, little bit scary through here, just easing, going through steady away, first lap. New tyres and full tank of fuel and stuff, so just building up. A little bit of a wheelie there. Oop, bit of a bigger wheelie there. Just getting ready now, breaking down towards the uh, quarter bridge. Just first lap, just take it really steady around here. You've got new tyres and you do uh, you do feel rather silly if you fall off here on the first lap. Right, accelerating away now, just getting settled in. Oh, even bigger wheelies now. It's always good fun to here, just on this little outcrop of wall, just there. Spectators looking, you sort of seem uh, as though you're just diving underneath the noses when you're uh, in a race. Just a little bit to uh, start each other out here. It's a lot quicker than you think, is this? Got to concentrate on being really smooth and keeping the power on all the way. On the 600, it's absolutely flat out out of here. On any bike now, you're flat out now, don't have the crunky body straight. Nice and smooth as this now, so you can keep the bike absolutely flat out. As I said before, concentrate on trying to keep your elbows and your feet in for streamlining. This next bit takes a bit of confidence to keep it flat out over there. I just rolled it a little bit then, but in a race, you usually keep it flat out over there. This is uh, a lot better now, breaking into Kurt Michael. It's a lot smoother. Just break at the two white gate posts on the uh, right, just back there. This first bend nice and smooth, and as you come uh, from on this next corner, you're back onto the old tarmac again. It's a little bit bumpy. A little bit of a tricky place to catch them on this because you just you sort of tend to use both sides of the road, so you just got to be careful uh, where you line someone up to pass through the village. We're better off waiting until you get out the other side. <laughs> 